Hey guys, Ray again. Today we are in the water jet shop and for good reason. We are going to be making a boat rudder out of stainless steel. Yeah, the client brought me this boat rudder and they said they need a copy. So we're going to make a copy of this. We're going to make it a little bit better and a little bit different. So let's get to cutting. So I had to turn the sound down because it is very loud in the water jet room. The material here is quarter inch thick. 316 stainless steel. Now you may notice some rusty areas on the surface. That is because stainless steel can in fact rust when it is in direct contact with regular steel. It loses its anti-corrosive properties when regular steel is in contact with the stainless. But we can grind that out and passivate the material and that won't be a problem later on. Here the water jet is just about finished cutting these parts and we will go ahead and test fit them all together and see how they fit. All right, let's take a look here. This is the true test. We'll pull this part out, this gusset, and this gusset will fit right there. And you can see it will just start. So a little tap and it'll fall right in. From end to end, it's got about 10 to 15 thousands of play there. But that's a good fit. It actually has there we are. It's got sand in there. Let's clean it up and try that again. There we are. So we'll give that a little tap. It's going to need a little bit more than that, but you can see that is a good solid fit. Okay, so we had a little bit of technical difficulties and I lost the footage for turning the shaft. So this shaft is stainless steel, 316 stainless. And we can see from the original that there is a keyway and a notch. And I'll show you on this one, a keyway and a notch. So we went ahead and turned this on the lathe. Really nothing spectacular about that. Put in a couple of grooves uh, for the O-ring seals. And then we did this notch, this keyway, and these two keyways all in one setup while it was in the mill. I'm going to show you what those are for in a second. All right, so here we have the original rudder, stainless steel. And it's really very simple. We have the main plate, the top plate, these two gussets, and the shaft. We are ignoring these reinforcement bars because the client had broken this and repaired it. He didn't want that, so we're going to ignore that. So let's take a look at the parts we have already made and how they compare. Here we have the main plate. Now, it is not an exact duplicate, but it's very close. We have the top plate, as you can see. Also not a perfectly exact duplicate, but very, very close. And then the gussets that we have here and there. Now, we did one thing a little bit differently, and you will see those keyways I mentioned earlier, those two little keyways, are actually in direct alignment with the keyway at the top of the shaft. And those are there so that we can align the main rudder plate directly centered on the shaft and in exact alignment with the top. So we know that everything is perfect and parallel. And you will notice those two little notches at the bottom. Now, I had to fine tune them a little bit because they were kind of tight. Okay, so that aligns the shaft. You'll see that the, the um, keyway is lined up to the rear of the rotor like the original, but it aligns the shaft perfectly dead center at this point. Doesn't align it up here. However, our main plate will do that. And you'll notice the notches and the tabs. So right now I'm not in alignment, I'm a little bit off. But once I get these There you go. That is 
aligned, it is straight, and, and it is tight. So this tab and slot construction is going to make the welding easy. I don't have to worry about what exact position these parts are in because they are exactly where I want them to be. The last remaining parts are the gussets. There you go. Now this gusset is the little tiniest bit loose. That won't matter because we will tack that in and make sure it's straight. But there it is. For the exception of this tiny little gusset, and it's it's snug but it's not real tight. That fits pretty good. There is the rudder in all of its glory. Um, if you'll notice, there's a hole here that is for the anode, so we've got the anode already set. We're going to tack it up, do the welding, and that's it. We're done. You can see that these joints are pretty tight. The holes, we've talked about those before in the picnic table build. There you go. There's how tight it is there. And you notice this tab sticks out. So what we'll do is we'll end up welding across here. And that will tie it all together. We'll weld in here. We'll weld all the way around here, all the way around. Here are the rudders side by side shafts and fully assembled and you can see they're very very similar they're not exact they are close not just close but close enough <laughs> uh, there you go the grooves for the o-ring seals grooves there is the notch and the notch Well, here is the completed rudder. You can see all the welding is in there and all the pieces are together. We still have a few things we need to touch up, but uh, all in all, it is complete. Let's back up and see the whole thing. Brand new stainless steel rudder for the client. I know he's gonna love it. Well, there you have it. The stainless steel rudder made for a customer from scratch based on their original rudder. All the welding for this project was done by our new guy, Cam the welder here. He did all the welding and he uh, started learning about the tab and slot construction. What do you think about that? I love the tab and slot construction. It is very, very good as far as keeping it in line. Uh, a lot of times when you're tacking and welding, things like the pull with the tab and slot, it holds it into place a lot better. It's just a wonderful process. Thank you all for watching. Please don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe.